this video is going to show you how to use Autocrat to send emails. I'm assuming you already have the other parts of your, um, of your Autocrat job set up, so I'm just going to be looking at that step. If you need help with that, see our other video on how to run, how to set up your initial Autocrat. So if you've got an existing job and you want to change it from not emailing things out to emailing things out, you're going to go ahead and click on the pencil to edit the job. And the step that we want to go to is step eight. So I'm just going to get us there. Share docs and send emails. If you wanted to share docs with an email, one thing you need to make sure of is that you have a column that has the email addresses you want them to send to. If you're using a form um, to gather data for your spreadsheet, it's easy to turn on um, email collection settings and um, Gmail does a nice job about prompting you that. Okay, so the first question is share doc. Yes, we want to share the doc. Here's where you can choose how to share it. Um, editable doc, so that would just send them a copy of their certificate, so the one that looks like this, and they would be able to edit it. Um, the next option is it would send it as a Google Sheet and they'd be able to view it. This one, they would be able to comment on it. Anyone with the link can edit, anyone with the link can view, or PDF. Um, for certificates, I, I typically send them as PDFs because it's one of the easiest formats to print from and our users have fewer issues with that. Um, I also like that it's not editable so they can't take our, our award certificate and put in whatever they want on there, right? Okay. Allow collaborators to reshare. That means can they, they send things. This one doesn't really apply to PDFs as far as I can tell. Um, but I usually leave it on. And then send from generic no reply address is only available for um, more professional accounts than, than myself. Okay. So for two, it says you can use tags for merging in source data or type manually. So I don't think I've ever gotten it to work without going over here. I click on it to copy it and then I paste it. And I use command V um, to paste because I'm on a Mac control V on a Windows machine. So what I did here is I just copied that column title, okay? And then I put the, I, as soon as you click on it, it copies it, and then you just paste it in there. Something that's important if you are using a dummy account um, that you don't want to be receiving emails to is to put in your actual email address you want people to email you at, like that. Um, and then that way, even though um, your dummy account is sending the information, you'll get anyone who hits reply to your email, you'll get it to your actual email account. And this can actually even be one of the tags on your spreadsheet. Um, we have our official ERC one set up so that whoever did the training, their email is what goes into the reply to, which is kind of a nice feature. So you can have multiple um, things there. For the subject, I'm just going to say congratulations. Congrats on winning the, and then I'm going to get another tag here. It's going to be the what did they win tag award. And then dear name, you did a fantastic, well, okay. And then I'll put their teacher's name. So that you can put tags in the body of the email and the title in these things here. Um, I could see having a BCC um, to another account. Um, if it's something where you're emailing um, parents or things like that, as well as students, you might want to have parent email and then or student email and then CC the parent, something like that. So that's how you set those up. As soon as you click save. Um, It'll save. And then the next time you run the job, let's get rid of that window. The next time you run the job, um, I put in fake emails here. I hope those aren't actually going to go anywhere. Okay. So because I don't have this, um, I have this on manual, I don't have triggers set up, so I'm just going to open this back up and run it. You get the idea of how to do it. If you don't want to see everything that Autocrat does, you can turn it off. It's entirely up to you. And it's going to take a long time next time, I guess.
Okay. We're almost there. You see the dots. Yeah, with the size, probably not. Okay. So in order to get this new one to run, I'm going to have to click play on here. And then it'll check to see if any of these columns are empty, um, the columns that AutoCorrect creates. And then it will um, start running the job on those columns. And you'll see the difference between the one that I did for Mary and the others is, let me get this closed. So here in the initial ones, it just says created, merged, manually run, timestamp. Created, merged, email sent to, manually run, timestamp. So this email sent to is a good step to have. Um, and it's also a good way to double check if someone has put in an incorrect email address and is complaining they haven't gotten their, um, their, their file or whatever, that's a good way that you can see um, where it's actually being sent to. Okay, that is how you set an autocrat up to automatically send emails.